Hi, my name is Peter Bross. I'm a Forge developer advocate at Autodesk. And in this lightning talk, I would like to cover some of the ways in which you can use the Forge data visualization extensions in your own application. The data visualization extensions are a recent addition to the Forge platform. It is a collection of viewer extensions that can be used to bring your sensory data into the context of your designs. Currently, the data can be visualized in form of heat maps and sprites, and other forms of visualization, such as streamlines, are planned for the future as well. The data visualization extensions include a reference application called Hyperion that you can try live at hyperion.autodesk.io. The source code of this application is available at the Autodesk Forge GitHub org. The reference application is based on React and it's quite complex, which means that reusing or repurposing this application for your own use cases might be non-trivial. The question then is, how can I use the data visualization extensions? Let's start with the low level approach first. Both heat maps and sprites are simply features of a viewer extension called Autodesk.Data Visualization. This means that you can load this extension into your own viewer application and use the classes in the Autodesk.Data Visualization.Core namespace to set up heat maps and sprite rendering in your own application. This process is documented on the Forge Developer Portal. The timeline you saw in the Hyperion application is a library called Kronos E2 that's been implemented by the Autodesk research team. This library is now available in the NPM registry. Currently, there is no documentation for this library yet, but we provide a sample code that can hopefully give you an idea of how Kronos can be set up and used. Now let's look at the higher level approach. We've been building a library called Forge IoT Extensions. This is a utility library built with TypeScript that provides higher level abstractions for the data visualization features. All the features and UI elements are wrapped into viewer extensions. All the UI is built using Forge Viewer's own UI system. And most importantly, there is only a single simple data interface that has to be implemented in order for your data to be visualized in the viewer scene. The data interface requires three things. First, getting a list of sensors. These are typically devices placed throughout your design. Second, getting a list of channels. These are the different types of values that the devices can measure, such as temperature or humidity. And finally, being able to return a list of data samples for a specific sensor and channel. We've also built a demo application that you can try live. And you can also see the source code of this demo application on GitHub. This application does not use React. It's very simple. It has a simple UI, only combines Forge Viewer with the Kronos E2 library. And it implements a simple data interface class that shows how mocked up data can be used to visualize heat maps and sprites in your scene. Please check it out and let us know. The source code for both the Forge IoT extensions library, as well as the demo application, is available on GitHub. And here's a couple of QR codes you can try to navigate to these repos right now. Thank you for your attention.